4G is something very unique, which is the need for small cells. And small cells may force you to actually use more wireless than less. So we think the opportunity for 4G backhaul using wireless is bigger. The challenge for operators today as they deploy 4G networks is in building out their backhaul network. When they look at the capacities that are required, operators are struggling with delivering a cost-effective solution. Enter wireless backhaul. Provides an ideal solution when you look at millimeter wave technologies. It gives you the capacity you need in a very flexible form factor and a very cost-effective medium. So we feel, feel that uh, wireless millimeter wave backhaul technologies is, is a great solution that carriers will need to deploy their 4G networks. So there are really two solutions, primary solutions that are being uh, considered or deployed. One is where you have a Pico base station that contains the baseband and it's basically a scaled down version of a macro cell. And the other one is uh, remote, remoting the antenna so to speak in the RF and all the baseband is done centrally. So the, uh, the light radio is actually some form of an antenna remoting. Um, if you do remoting of an antenna, you actually have to transfer much higher bit rates, more than a gigabit. And if that ended up being the right solution, then uh, the higher frequencies are the only place you can actually do it because you have enough capacity to carry such traffic. Uh, our conviction is that the right architecture is going to be Pico cells, and the reason is that semiconductors are becoming available today that enable you to do a full cell for a very low cost point and there is no reason to maintain the remoting architecture of the past. So uh, we think that Pico cells are going to prevail in the long term, although at the moment most of the PR noise may be surrounding the, uh, the antenna remoting capability. When you look at the deployment for LTE and even LTE Advanced, there really are two major problems. One is deployment of the radio access network. Very difficult challenge, many smart people working on that. The other major challenge though is how do you provision the backhaul for that? Again, many smart people looking at how do you solve that problem. I think it's a problem that will be solved and is not insurmountable, but it's a critical element that carriers need to be looking at today so that when they deploy 4G in the future, it's a very effective and uh, satisfactory end user experience. And when you look at that, Fiber is a great medium as well. Uh, wireless, high capacity backhaul is required to give you the capacity that's needed as well as the flexibility and the lower cost. Even more importantly, when you go to the small cell architecture, which every operator that has looked at 4G is considering, the difficulty in getting a fiber circuit to those locations is even more pronounced. And there, you, you need to look at, and there's a, a fundamental requirement for high capacity wireless backhaul to be able to allow you to reach those small cell sites, again, in a cost effective manner with the capacity required. Uh, one other interesting area we're seeing is uh, regulators in many countries are looking very aggressively to open up the 80 gigahertz spectrum. It's already opened up in many countries in, in the world, not 100%, but we're seeing the countries where it has not been opened start to accelerate. The regulators are opening the spectrum at a very uh, favorable pricing and a very flexible deployment manner to encourage the operators to use the technology and leverage it because they understand that it has a very significant impact on the successful deployment of broadband, mobile broadband technologies, which is critical to economic growth in, in many countries today. Uh, so when you go into 4G, the innovation is around form factors, how you put uh, uh, backhaul connections on small structures, light poles, utility poles, and the such. Uh, it has to do with uh, a low cost, it has to do with putting more bits per hertz and the stuff that is usually what people worry about uh, wireless, making it uh, more bits for lower cost, but also here the issue is, uh, is form factors, making it small, inconspicuous and the such. The so bridge wave is focused on solving the tough problems of backhaul. We're not trying to do what everybody else is doing. We are focusing on where the challenges really are 
which is how to back all uh, small cells, how to bring multi-gigabit capacity to macro cells uh, in, in lieu of fiber, etc. So our core competence is really in the multidisciplinary system solution that brings together antenna technology, modem, the RF, the uh, networking capabilities all in one, highly integrated system solution that is cost effective and reliable. Our mission is to solve 4G backhaul challenges and bring innovative solutions to the market.